good day students in this video we are going to see about designing three bit synchronous up counter using jk flip flops before going into the design we need to understand something about jk flip flop so we need to understand the truth table and the excitation table coming to the truth table if clock is not applied whatever may be the inputs the next state won't be changed if the clock is given that is clock is high then only the inputs will be affected on the output so if the inputs are 0 0 the state of the flip flop does not change if the inputs are 0 1 the state is 0 inputs are 1 0 the state is 1 if the inputs are 1 1 the state of the flip flop complemented is plus present state that is the next state will be the complement of the present state based on this input we have excitation table which gives the information of the inputs to be applied to jk flip flop for the next state transit from the present state so for if the present state is zero and if i need the next state as zero the inputs to be given is 0x so these two tables are mandatory in understanding the design of the things so here we are having the unfilled state table which is having three information flip flop present states so these are going to mention the present states of the flip flop so we are going to do some three bit counter so we are having three flip flops a b c so a b c are the three flip flop present states here a of t b of t c of t mention the present state of the flip flops so if the present state if there are three different states we will be having eight different combinations so three flip flops 2 power 3 equal to eight different combinations and here i am filling the different combinations that can be taken by the flip flop so the three flip flop can either take any one of the eight combinations starting from 0 0 0 2111 so here i am just filling the different combinations possible for the flip flops once these are the different present states that can be taken by the three flip flops once we understand the present states for our design we have to fill the next states so we are designing up counter for up counter if the present state is 0 0 then the next state will be 0 0 1 if the present state is 0 0 then the next state will be 0 1 0 so this is a simple up counter that the zero is incremented to 1 1 if 1 is the present state the next state will be 2 if 2 is the present state the next state will be 3 and 3 is the present state the next state will be 4 so it is just getting up so in which in this information we are just filling the next states and the next states are filled only based on the present states so understanding the problem we are just generating the different combination of present state and filling the next state based on the present state so the last state 111 1 is a 7 the next state will be reset so 0 0 so now we are going to refer to the excitation table to obtain the inputs to be given to flip flops to move from the present state to the next state so this excitation table will be helpful in filling this state table inputs to flip flop consider the flip flop a the present state is 0 and the next state is 0 so 0 has to be moved to 0 so from the excitation table we are taking the inputs as 0x so ja and k are filled as 0x so in similarly for b flip flop the transition of state from present to next to 0 to 0 so the same values is filled if you consider c the present state is 0 but the next state is 1 so 0 to 1 transition requires inputs of 1x so jc and kz are filled with 1 and x respectively 
so here we are trying to fill all the inputs to flip flop based on the present state to next state conversion of the particular flip flop so j a and k a to be filled by considering a of t and a t plus 1 and j b and k b has to be filled with the information b of t and b of t plus 1 so based on this information here if you see j a 0 to 0 so you will be fill, fixing filling 0 and x in the table for j b 0 state is moving to 1 state so we are filling 1 x so similarly we need to fill all the inputs referring to the present states and next states of a particular flip flop so once you finish this inputs to flip flops we are now ready to fill the design so now the state table is completely filled by using the information of present states next states and the excitation table so now what's the task is we need to find the equations or expressions for each of the flip-flop inputs so here we are having three jk flip-flops so that six different inputs are there so j a k a j b k b j c k c we need to determine six expressions for each of these inputs if j a is considered these are the different possible states and to obtain the equation for j a we have to consider the inputs so we need to go for karna map and it is treated as six simple three bit k map problems so the inputs are a b c present states and each inputs to flip flop is taken as output so if you consider the first thing the expression for j a we are filling the three variable k map accordingly with one and x the variable input variables are a b c so if the square is formed like this the expression is a is changing but b and c not changing and the values are 1 1 so expression for j is b c similarly for k a filling the x's and 1 we get to square like this and we are getting the expression again similarly b and c because a is changing and b c is not changing and have a value 1 1 so the expression is b c similarly for j b fill the all the x's and 1 from the state table and try to form a square so this four things can be squared and the expression is a is changing in the row in the column if you see b a is now changing but if you see the column wise b is changing but c is not changing the non-changing value of c is 1 so the expression is j b equal to c of t right coming to k b similarly fill x and 1 the expression we are getting is c of t similarly for j c if you fill 1 and x all the blocks get filled by 1s and x so we can form a square comprising of 8 cells so the expression for j c and k c will be equal to 1 as we covered the entire ones so thus we have developed 6 different k maps and obtained expressions for 6 inputs to the flip flop so now we obtain the expressions now we are trying to simulate the circuit using logically so this is a simple software which consists of basic digital components here we need to take three jk flip-flops because we have done a design using jk flip-flops and we are designing a three bit counter so just drag the necessary components from the left pane and put it in the work area so here three different jk flip-flops are taken and if you see the jk flip-flops apart from the two inputs jk we are having preset and clear we need to see the output through some led so light bulb is taken and connected to the output of the three flip-flops to understand the change in pattern so here preset and clear are low level signal and if preset is activated all this lap, uh, flip flops should be set to 1 
and if the clear is activated all the flip flops will clear to zero so i am taking the toggle switch and going to set the preset as well as clear to zero if zero is given then it will be confused because clear signal if zero is given then flip flop will be clear so preset and clear should be given one here and then the clock is selected the clock is given 1000 millisecond so for each 1000 millisecond equal to one second for each second the flip flops is going to respond in our case so now for the first to jk flip flop for the a flip flop we get the expression b into c from the k map so we need a and gate and the input of the and gate should be one input is from b and another input from c so here the label for the first flip flop is given as a so the first flip flop is a so the input to the flip flop a will be equal to b c so similarly all the flip flops are identified so label for each flip flops is given so the second flip flop is given the identity b the third flip flop is given the identity c so these are the three flip flops used for the three bit counter so for the a flip flop input to the flip flop is b and c so one input is taken from b and connected to the input of and gate another thing is taken from c and connected to the input of the and gate now the a flip flop has given the appropriate input that we have designed using k map for the b flip flop the inputs of j and k is c this is also determined using k map so c is taken and connected to the inputs of b flip flop and for the c flip flop the inputs will be 1 so that is what we determined from k map so 1 is taken and that input is given to the input j and k of c flip flop so now all the inputs according to k map is given so flip flop will work only if the clock is given so clock is given to the clock signal so all the three flip flops are connected to clock and clock signal is given to all the three flip flops and for the proper functioning of flip flops we need to give a suitable signal to preset and clear so preset should be given one and clear should be given one because if preset is given zero it will set the flip flop if clear is given zero it will clear the flip flop to zero so both the signals are given high so after the simulation if we connect the output now we can able to see how the flip flops are responding by using the status of bulb so what is expected is the transition of the bulbs should be from 000 so all bulbs should not glow 001 the last bulb should glow 010 equal to 2 that is the middle bulb should glow so we need such a sequence if you connect the light so our light is being connected and now the circuit is ready and it is in the operation now it is 1117 now it is getting off 000 now in the next clock pulse 001 in the next clock pulse 010 so the next clock pulse 3 011 the next clock pulse 4 100 the next clock pulse 5 101 the next clock pulses 6 110 the next clock pulses 7 111 the next clock pulses 0 000 so this repeats and this is how we simulate the three bit up counter and thank you very much for watching this video